Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron laptop. This one is a Dell Inspiron 3420. The regulatory model number is a P22G. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how you can upgrade, replace or downgrade the RAM for this laptop. This applies for any 3420 series, so it doesn't have to be exactly the P22G model. It's really simple. I made a video how to check your maximum capacity for you, any laptop or PC. I'll leave that link in the video description. You can check that link so you guys can see it by yourself and you learn something new. It's a 30 second long video so you know what's the maximum capacity for these models. It's something that I tell you. It's something that you can see it by yourself. But in this video, I'm going to go over how to access those RAMs and how you can remove or add or upgrade. Alright, with everything said, let's get into it. First thing first, you need to power off the laptop completely. You need to get yourself a opening tool. Uh, you'll be using a guitar pick, a metal guitar picks are really thin and durable for bending too. And soft edges makes it really suitable to opening case and covers. Alright, what you need to do, we need to remove the keyboard. There's no screws or anything attached on the other side of the keyboard. But there are little tiny clips right here. You can see right over the escape key between F5, F6, F11, and on the delete one right on the top. So we're going to start from the corner here. What do you want to do? This is like kind of a little push plastic. You want to push it toward the screen. So right there, you want to push them down in toward the screen. And once you push it, you want to scoop it. The Open it to right underneath and left up right there. Okay, leave it right there. Now it's up. You want to do the same thing on the second one. Let me zoom in on this. So I'm going to push it all the way back. And I'm going to scoop it out. Same here. I'm going to push it back. Gently and then scoop it up. Now I have this side up and uh, this side left. This one has a little plastic is broken on this side. Don't worry about this kind of cover. It's just a mesh cover. Now we want to do the last one right here. Stick it right there. But these laptops are really old, so then I'll make it easy. Once you remove that one, now all you need to do is grab it from the middle, pull it up, and twist, bring it towards yourself like that. And you're gonna see this at the up, that means this side has to face up. You wanna remove this connector. To remove the connector, all you need to do is put your fingernail at the back side by this black rod right here and lift it up 90 degrees. So once you lift it up 90 degrees, like that, you wanna Pull and slide gently this flex cable out. This flex cable has a little ear loops on the side, so you want to be careful with this one once you want to put it back together. It has to go down in 45 degree and then towards the motherboard and then lock it down. So once you remove the keyboard, then you're going to see the RAMs right here. There are two RAM DIMMs available, stacked on top of each other. To remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers beside the RAM, this one, and this one away from each other. Let me get something to poke in there so I don't have my finger in there. So right there. So I'm going to pull these two apart. And the RAM should come out in 45 degree angle. Just like that. You want to grab it and slide it in the same direction. You do not want to pull it upward. Otherwise you're going to crack the RAM or the RAM dim. That's the one dim. These are DDR3 RAMs. These are 2 gig and 2 gig. So it adds up to 4 gig. You can put a 4 and 4 so you can have an 8 gig. And this CPU supports 8 gig easy hands down. If yours supports 16 gig, you can put an 8 and 8. So in order to get a, you know, what do you call a 16 gig. To remove the second RAM, same thing. Pull the triggers away from each other. And the RAM should pop out in 45 degree angle. Again, same thing. Pull it out in 45 degree angle. And you have it right there. Oh, this is a 4 gig. So we got a 4. And it's been upgraded with another 2 gig. So it's a 6 gig right here. 
In order to put the RAM back in, you have to make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim right there. So if you try to put it the other way around, the notch will not match and it will not go through. So in here, what we're going to do in the same 45 position degree, we want to slide it towards the dim and I need to push it towards the dim in a 45 degree angle until all the pins go in. And then gently push it towards the motherboard from the middle and you should hear two triggers clicking like that. Grab the second one, align it 45 degree all the way inside the jack. This one went easy, I didn't have to push too hard. Once it's in, towards the next one and it will just click in. You don't have to touch the clips anymore. Once you got this one is in, once you got this in, now all you need to do is to grab the keyboard, first press it like this, flip it over, Remember the side up is actually obvious, upside, or the, if yours doesn't say up, the plastic uh, here, the blue plastic has to face up. You want to open up the lock. If your lock is closed, open it up. You want to bring it down in 45 degree right, like the, the way you did with the RAM. And you can use that tweezers to help you make it easier, a curved tweezers. With, and just grab it from the middle and just push it in gently. And make sure all those uh, loopholes in the side, ear loops, they go in. Once they are inside, all you need to do is to lock it down. Make sure this line is straight. If you see that the crooked, doesn't, a little bit doesn't work because it's not painted straight. So, but I see the ear loop right there is in. On this side, I see it in perfectly set down right there. So, I'm just going to close it. Right, once you close that one down, you want to put the bottom of the keyboard, these hinges right here, have to go under the palm rest. So I'm going to grab it and scoop it right under the palm rest. And then we're going to bring it down. And then you don't want to push too hard, otherwise it's not going to go through. The easier way is to grab the guitar pick, put it right by the lock, and then push it down, and then release. Same thing here. Put it right at the back, push down, and then just lift this one up, and it will bring the lock back to you. The same thing here, same thing right there. And then that's it. And that's how you upgrade the RAM. Again, if you upgrade the RAM and there is no boot screen after five to 10 seconds, don't panic. All you need to do is to switch the RAM places, put the new one on the bottom and power on. Once you get the boot logo, power off and put the old RAM on the second dim and do the same process, turn it on and wait to five to 10 seconds for the motherboard to do a memory check. And that's how sometimes that uh, happens. And if you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, click that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it.